Thank you. All right. So, hey, everybody. Suzanne. And it's been a while since we did a in-person maker. So, we're sitting outside. We're six feet apart. So, it's all good and it's exciting to be back. Um, and this is one we've been wanting to do for a long time. But my lovely friend Christine Wilson of Duchess of Dirt has had a very, very busy year. Um, so, I'm so excited that we can sit down with her. She's invited us to her own personal um, gardens and porch, which are just absolutely stunning. Um, so we want to get to know you, Christine, and, and after, uh, after we're done talking, Mal, we'll kind of walk around and show people some of your gardens and some of your gorgeous planters, because my connection to you is that you've been doing everything, all the, you're like our secret fairy at the office, so if you all see the beautiful seasonal planters we have, which are truly all year round, I mean, you do gorgeous stuff in the, for the holidays and even through the winter, and so Christine is a, is a magician when it comes to plants, absolutely passionate about them. So tell us how you started your company, and I love the name, the, the Duchess of Dirt. So tell us a little bit about your background. So I worked for the airlines um, for a number of years, and um, after 9-11, the writing was on the wall. Yes. And they closed our building reservations, and I had a choice to try to go to the airport and work at the airport. but. In the airline industry, the hours are really, really tough. Um, they are either starting at 4 or 5 a.m. Oh, or yes. ending at 1 in the morning. So I decided to see what else I could do out there. And after doing some menial jobs for a while here or there, I realized that my love of gardening is probably something I should look into more. So um, I looked into it and found um, the North Shore Community College has a fabulous certificate program. Which one? North Shore? North Shore Community oh, College. Cool. I hadn't been in school for many years, 30 plus years. Um, I was a little hesitant to go take a big class until I could figure out if I really could do this. Um, so I took my class, my, uh, I took the certificate program at North Shore and it was fabulous. They do, awesome. um, there's a 12 course program. I think it's gotten a little larger that you need a few more courses, which is wonderful. You take CAD programs now, which we didn't have. We had all hand drawings. Um, but um, they do three seasons. They, they ask you to do three seasons in the Trustees of Reservations Garden. Uh, and it beautiful. was beautiful. And I learned so much. I did spring and fall at um, Beverly Long Hill. And um, summer I did at Stevens Coolidge Place because Long Hill was more of a spring and more of a wooden garden versus a summer garden. And I fell in love. I got a job working for a high end um, garden company for a while and knew from the beginning I wanted to go off on my own. Nice. And um, I worked for them for four days a week and myself for two days a week for a number of years until I finally got the courage to go off on my own. So we've been doing this for, this is our eighth year. We started in 2012. So this is our, the end of our, nearing the end of our eighth season. That's awesome. So eight years ago, you fully went out, left the other company, and officially started Duchess of Dress. Yes. That's so cool. And how many people work with you now? This was the busiest year we've ever had. This year, we had nine employees. Wow, nice. Um, very busy year. Um, struggle to keep up with it all um but um yeah it's awesome and it, and now is your role morphed into more kind of managing the crews and and coming up like do you still do all the designs and i've been doing this year i've been doing a lot more managing um uh, yes i do most of the designs um but we are adding to our team more experienced designers and gardeners so um, as time progresses, I'm hoping to expand more into doing more designs. Um, there's only so much I can do right. on my own. Right. Um, and it's really hard to be in the office, in the field, and designing at the same time. Um, yes, that's such a um, classic entrepreneur, entrepreneurial conundrum, right? Is that, you know, you're really good at this one area, and then, you know, there's HR, and there's insurance, and there's all of these other facets that yes. are less, you know, inspirational, but the more you can find ways to get those other things done and be able to focus on what you love and what you're good at. We've moved this year in hiring outside help for all the, a lot of that. Yeah, um, and smart. I find that that's really, we've reached that point that something's got to give. Yeah. Um, and we're doing so well and I love so much what I'm doing. I really don't want to end it yet. 
Christine's got all her gorgeous planters and all her pumpkins and what do you call the the um like the Cinderella ones the the gourds they're the different, gourds, different gourds yeah. they're just so cool so they're she's really she's inspired me to well it, it'll be you creating the magic <laughs> but I can't wait to see what you, what you do on our front porch at the office but so now um, some ways that we've worked together is obviously you, you do all the containers at our office and now we, we've ha Christine takes care of a lot of our clients homes. So again, like I'll drive by house and I'm like, oh, Christine was there because I see the beautiful, you know, planters and, and people always ask us, you know, who does these? And I would say, too, I find and tell me if I'm speaking correctly, but um, what's different from your business than, say, a landscaper and we love them all is that a landscaper is sort of more maintenance you know they just have a big crew and come in and you know mow lawns and do right. but, but you're but you're you're a, a gardener and Correct. to me they're two very 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 different things um and I love you know that so, somebody like you can come in and say well you know let, let's look at each individual plant and look at the overall um you know plan and you're helping to maintain that as well rather than again Correct. like I love the guy that cuts my lawn but he wouldn't be the same you Correct. don't do the same thing. I know very little about lawn. Um, I know that um, my grass has a lot of crab weeds, mm -hmm. crab, crab grass in it, I'm sorry to say. Um, but no, I don't focus on lawns at all. We are fine gardeners. We maintain um, the perennial gardens and we maintain um, annual plants. We maintain trees, shrubs, vines as the wisteria here. Um, I, we personally maintain trees that are below 10 to 12 feet max. Anything above that, we get an arborist in. So like um, more ornamental trees. Right, more and, shrubs. Yeah. We do all the pruning for shrubs. We Like even those arborvitaes that are, you know, pretty tall up there, I'd probably hire someone to do that. It's yeah. just, our lattice, the ladder that I get is really only 10 feet tall. That's not what I do well, anything taller than that. Um, so we leave it to them. But yes, we do um, composting, mulching, dividing. Now we're getting into bulb season. We've oh, got, yeah. just yeah. got a huge shipment of 500 bulbs and of just alliums cool um and yes we do all the containers spring summer fall and, and winter and holiday yeah i love you have shown me so many try, plants that we, look great all year round it's, it's we try to make the holiday containers so they're not as holiday-ish so you can remove whatever red is in there and make them winter containers so they go through the whole winter yeah which is which is so cool because i think that's part of what's tough about winter is there's just no color and right. no life so if you can have it in some little spots now you must have a crazy story like do you have any clients that like gave you an outlandish mission or you know some exotic plants or like do you ever do events like people say we're having a you know a lawn wedding come in and we did one wedding once um which was very awesome because it was an old farmhouse um on Moyer street in concord oh nice um, and we grew the plants the containers here all summer long and they had, it was an old farm, and they had these beautiful um, apple baskets that were 100 years old. And so we put the containers into Aww. the baskets for the wedding. And we maintain the whole garden and do that. We do all that. We don't, we haven't done that many at this point. Um, but yes, we do that. Um, we haven't done events as weddings and that kind of stuff. It's, it's kind of more floral arranging more floral. versus right. like maybe if, like to your point, if someone was planning an outdoor event well in advance and they knew they wanted some you know, containers that are more... Permanent. We have done, like I said, we've done the weddings like that, and I've actually even done one wedding, uh, but it really is more of a florist for that. But the container work, all the, the anything that's in the dirt um, or that's associated with that, a holiday, the pumpkins, all of that, we do all the, that. Uh, I've seen window boxes you do, and don't you do some in Boston? And we do, normally we do the holiday containers for the Warren Tavern. Um, we do have a lot of work in Charlestown. Charlestown is where we do a lot of work on. Nice. Um, this has been a little crazy year, but um, yeah, normally we do a lot of work in there. That's awesome. And you were also were telling me today that um, you should call Christine now to get your fall displays done because I, it sounds like just, just like coins and toilet paper that apparently there's, I mean, and we knew, I, I've heard the garden centers are absolutely booming this year because we're all so refocused on home and gardens and kind of planning ahead more for holidays and things like that. But you're saying that there's already slim pickings with it's it's really limited already for the fall material i'm sure the holiday material will be just as challenging to get so november um, 1st we're going to be um by november 1st <laughs> we've already bought our stuff we, we've, That's awesome. we've we've either bought them or have them on order because anything later than that you're not going to get you're, you're almost like a um 
magazine. Like I love my little like country living and HGTV magazines, and they're they're always like, yeah, it's great, but you always have to be like, you know, months and months ahead. Like like they're probably doing their holiday issue now, and it's like you know you're always trying to like enjoy the moment, but also you're looking ahead to like, well, what's the next season? And don't miss like that. If you go into Mahoney's. Um, or any of the big nurseries you'll see in the back corners, the, the holiday stuff is out. They're already starting to. And it's disappointing because it's September. I know. But in order for them, in order to be prepared for the holidays, you just got to, you got to get prepared. Yeah. Take time uh, yeah. to make all this stuff. Exactly. I, I, oh my gosh, I can only imagine making yeah. all the, yeah. the greeneries. And then last thing, because time goes by so fast here, but um, maybe you and I could collaborate on like a different type of holiday house tour this year because obviously we're not going to be doing the big indoor you know crowded awesome events of the past but maybe there's a way we could like say you know you know seven homeowners that have really cool outdoor gardens that do a lot of lights and stuff like that and we could do more of like people are driving in their cars or they're walking through I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. But Try to, I was thinking of that. What you, what, what's going to happen with the holiday tour that's probably not going to happen this year? How about porch tours? Love it. You could easily do porch tours. Love it. You can decorate porches to the I love it. And we could, have, we could still have some of the live music. And people could literally, they could, they could pull up in their car and just take, if they want to come out, they could take turns, like, really, like, one group at a time. You could easily walk around here. My yard is plenty, of, and, and this won't be here. There will be no plants here. And all the greenery is down, so that's actually a possibility. All right. I didn't think of that until just now. Let's do it, because it breaks my heart to think about not having it. And again, like these are all the things that you get to share your, you know, your inspirations and your talents, and that's part of what you know something like a tour is all about. And so. people want to go out and see. They do. I, it's it's so festive. So okay. We should so talk. sign me up. Let's. All talk. right. You heard you heard the it here first. On. Sitting on your porch and being in your yard, it's like it's magic. So I think. You. to share what you do with people and you have such a gift so and I love sharing it I mean you know I, I've told friends just come sit in the porch it's really it's like relaxing it's peaceful it's kind of a different world it's like yeah. your blood pressure yeah, goes and, the, down. and the hummingbirds just kind of yeah. really make it they visit I love it but yeah let's talk about um, a, a holiday porch tour I love it I think that would be great and before we let you go anything else that you want to add about kind of where where you're looking to take the business in the future or anything that we should be aware of up and coming um i'm just excited about where we're going we've had a, a fabulous year um we've got a great crew that we're building um there's a few things in the plans but it's still awesome. early to tell we'll see that's awesome we'll keep that awesome growth pattern going and last thing because we talked a little bit offline earlier but I love what you said to me earlier which was that this was such a big career change for you kind of at a midpoint of your of your life and to completely pivot like that and now look at how successful you are doing what you love so I think it's awesome so can't wait to see what the next chapter brings so thank, thank you. you Christine so Duchess of Dirt check thank out you. her work she's right here in Bedford and um, more to come so check out her garden tour too and we'll talk to you soon so thank you so much thank you Thank you very much.